What type of party guests are you? Can people tell by just what you bring? I was thinking about this because I'm about to head off to an event and usually I am the type of person for most of my events that will go to a little bit of effort. But this year it has been a crazy ride and I really just didn't have it in me to do the crazy amount of ingredients and steps and time and effort that I would normally go to. So I thought let's have a little bit of fun and I would ask you some quiz questions to see whether you knew the type of person that you are when you go to an event. Obviously I cannot mark you through a video so you're just gonna have to make some judgments for yourself. Okay so I wrote down some quiz questions. Let's go. Firstly how much time do you spend preparing for an event? A lot of time. So we can go up here more than four hours sometime so one to four hours not a lot of time maybe less than one hour and i usually just pick up something on the way next how do you typically choose the food that you're going to bring i like to make something that i know everyone will enjoy i like to try new recipes and create things i like to bring something that's really easy to transport and store or I usually just bring what I like and hope others will too. And as a bonus one or put in the middle, uh, I stress the entire time for the two weeks beforehand about who's got what dietary considerations. Okay, number three, which one do you lean more towards? Appetizers and snacks, something more hearty so or filling like sides or mains, the desserts, alcohol or other drinks or the healthy stuff that no one else usually remembers. And the last one is what style do you typically bring to Christmas parties or other parties? A gourmet creation, homemade wholesome dishes or baked items, store-bought googie, googies, goodies, or nothing. They just show up. They said don't bring anything. So based on your responses, we could start to make a little bit of a call on the type of person that you might be. The amount of effort that people put into an event and the food that they bring to parties can vary widely. Some people may put in a lot of time and effort. They might be people who are really passionate about cooking or just a little bit neurotic in general, or they might feel really pressured and have to meet some kind of societal expectation. And then others might just pick up something along the way. They might be really tired or stressed or rushed or have a million other considerations that they've got going on in their lives at the moment. Or it's just food is just not really that high on someone's priority. What they put into their mouth, they don't really care about. So they're not worried about what others will think of their food. So like I said, people's contributions may vary widely, but their behaviours at parties might also. So here are a few examples of different types of people and what they might be bringing. I wrote it out on my phone so that I remember all the different wonderful people because if I forget anyone, I'll be very sad. So the first one is the social butterfly. This person loves to be at parties and is always up for socialising and meeting new people. They're often the life of the party and often know how to keep the conversation going. They might bring something shareable like cupcakes or the booze. Then we have the shy one. This person may be more introverted and they may feel more comfortable standing back and observing the party rather than being the center of attention. They may not be as outgoing as the social butterfly, but they're definitely still part of the party and they're a great addition. So they might bring us, you know, a staple or a baked good, nothing that stands out too much like some big fancy crock and bush, but definitely something that gets eaten and picked up along the way of the event. We have the one who brings nothing. As I mentioned, uh, this person may not contribute anything at all, whether that's food, drink, or even a cheerful personality to the event. They may simply show up and expect to be entertained. Now we have the one who creates. So this person loves to cook and may bring homemade treats to share with others at the party. They may enjoy showing off their culinary skills and making something special for the occasion. But they may or may not be the social butterfly. Sometimes they just like to talk in small groups and have diverse conversations. And other times they have to be seen. Now we have the one who picks up something along the way. This person may not have time to prepare anything in advance, so they stop at a bakery or a store along the way and pick something up to bring. They may be running late and they might rush into the party with an air of somewhat chaos and they might take a little bit of time to just chill out. 
we have the one who never leaves. This person may stay at the party long after everyone else has gone. They may be having such a good time or they simply just don't want to leave because they have nowhere else to go as exciting. They might have brought leftovers or really anything at all from any of the other categories. We have the party animal. This person loves to let loose and have a great time. They'll be the first person on the dance floor or starting up a game and whatever they bring, they are throwing on the table as they arrive, never to be looked at again because they have some more fun and more interesting things to do. And finally, we have the one who only stays for a little while. These people often have other obligations and other places to go, so they'll show up, make an appearance, say hello to everyone and then leave. Their focus really is on bringing something that's a bit more tokenistic that means that they just don't get judged for not showing up with anything at all. So this might be a bottle of wine or some cookies and the amount of effort that they've put in is pretty minimal. Ultimately, the most important thing is that the food is enjoyed, the party is great and everyone has a good time. It is okay to put in a lot of effort on the way there or keep things pretty simple and minimal too. So do any of these sound like you or is it just a whole bunch of hilarious, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, nonsense. So give us a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you would like to hear more of my nonsense throughout the coming year. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.